Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have a quick little follow up to my top 5 worst houses ever video. Because in that video, while I was showing off the crop house, which by the way, terrible idea, you need more than wheat to protect you from the outside, uh, I mentioned how it's probably the only house in Minecraft you can eat, but that is actually entirely wrong. Uh, there are a bunch of houses in Minecraft you can eat, and to atone, and, you know, to atone for that fact, I thought it'd be cool to show off a bunch of edible houses designs so that if you want to have a house that also functions as a food source, you can be covered with this video. So please do your like through if you do like it. Cause it helps out the channel a lot and let us know you like seeing weird stuff like this and let's get straight into the video shall we so let's start with uh, the easiest house to eat the one that if you're just like oh i'm starving now and i need to eat it's the perfect house for you so it is a melon house and of course it's going to require a bunch of melons because you know you need to take nine melon slices make them a block and then make a whole house outfit but it's actually one of the easiest ones to make a house out of because it can be used for a bunch of different things you can see here i've even got a balcony made out of melons i've got you know like an inside room this could be a bedroom i've got i've got a second balcony i've, I've got all the things you need in life you know, two balconies and a bedroom. So... <laughs> Uh, basically, yeah, if you want to have a house, you could just be like, you know what, I'm hungry, I can't be bothered to go down to the, the, the food farm, I'm just going to take a bite out of the wall. This is the perfect house for you, because you can just do that anytime you want to. You can make yourself a window and get food at the same time. It's great. So yeah, I definitely recommend the, the melon house for those who are lazy. Uh, you want to do some house building, but you also want to be able to eat the house. Uh, again, very bizarre, very specific thing you're asking for there, but you're covered with the melon house. So yeah, um, if you if you want a house that requires a bit more thought, a bit more complexity, so that strangers don't just eat your walls, you know, because they're bored then what you should instead make is a pumpkin uh, cake or pumpkin pie house. So yeah, the idea behind this house is the entire walls are made out of pumpkin. You can even make uh, you know inside walls out of them too. Uh, there are chickens everywhere. I mean, chickens are a good idea in any house, but in this case, they provide us with valuable, valuable eggs. And then there's also, you know, just along the walls here, some sugar cane. So we take the sugar cane, we take a bite out, we, we take a little bit out of the wall, and then we also take some of the eggs, which are just everywhere because chickens are everywhere. And uh, you're obviously, you're, you're probably familiar what we can make here. We can turn the sugar cane into sugar and we can make a pumpkin pie so I, i've honestly gone hey make sugar oh it's over here i i always get paper and sugar mixed up because they're basically the same recipe i mean this it it's 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 not the same but it, it is the same in reality but yeah uh then you make you take those three things together and boom you can make yourself a pumpkin pie and you can make as many as you have pumpkins and you have a lot of pumpkins to make this house so yeah if you want a more complex crafting based food house and i don't know who's like i want a food house but i don't want it to be immediately edible i want to craft it first but if that is you if you're like yes someone's finally catering to my exact need you're welcome, you're welcome. The the pumpkin pie house is open business. And if you want to get a bonus points hit, you can actually make it shaped like a, a pumpkin pie. As you can see, mine is vaguely circular, like a pumpkin pie. But I didn't take a slice out, but... I think it's all the way on the other side of my world. Should we fly over there? Let's just quickly fly over there. What you can actually do is if you make this in the shape of a pumpkin pie, which I have actually made just over, I'm saying just over, oh, there we go, yeah, just over there, you can actually make it look like it's pumpkin pie, have a little slice outfit, and then it's kind of perfect because you can make the slice bigger because if you imagine this is pumpkins, you can be like, well, I'm just going to take another bite out of the pie and then you actually get pie from it. So yeah, that's a genius idea or the worst idea ever, depending on your opinion. But you know, it, depending on your opinion, everything in this video is the worst idea ever, which, you know, I might agree with you on. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the second edible house there that requires a bit of crafting. The third one here is even lazier than the first one. It doesn't even require you to punch the walls and it is the best idea for an edible house because it's it's the level of ridiculousness where I think it goes right around the uh, spectrum and it almost becomes a good idea again because it is a cake house. So what makes a cake house such a good idea you might be wondering. You might be like, uh... It's, it's, I mean, uh, it, it, it's got red spots on the ground, but the reality behind this thing is it's the coolest house ever because of the fact that, you know, w cakes, you know, they can stack up on the consoles. I'm pretty sure they can't on the PC. And it means that you can do cool things like this where not only are your walls made out of cake and it stops any mob getting in. Like if zombies are out there, you know, they're not going to, uh, they're not going to be able to get in. If creeps are out there, they're not going to be able to explode, but it means you can actually see out. So if you want to have a house, which is a, you know, a nice safe place, but you're really, really worried about, you know, mobs coming in. You can make yourself like a little, uh, you know, post to start defend yourself. So you can be like, okay, I can shoot through this. And also, one of the few benefits of this house is even though, like I said, it has solid walls, nothing can get you, but you can fire ender pearls through the house. So, for instance, if you want to go from one side of the house to the other, you can actually, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this right, but you can kind of angle an ender pearl. And there we go, we did it just right there. And you can get it right through the gaps. And uh, yeah, this is the only house you can ender pearl through. You can fire arrows literally through. Again, we have to do this just right. But uh, yeah, it's one of the few houses you can do that with. And, um, you can also eat it, and that's the most important part of any house, right? Have, haven't you always been like, oh, I like my house, which is made out of stone and wood, but it's a shame you can't eat the wood. This is the house for you. So I hope you did all enjoy this quick little video. Um, I'm not sure what the point behind it was, but hopefully I have inspired you <laughs> to make an edible house, even if it's just for a joke. I think, I think there is genuine utility to a house which has this many holes in it, because, you know, even though... 
Uh, it's, it's the same thing as the Wither Skeleton Skull has. Like, even though, uh, you know, it is solid for all intents and purposes, you can fire arrows, you can fire ender pearls, you can do all these different things with it, and I think that's going to have some benefits. And, yeah, hopefully you did like it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which house is your favourite. Is it the melon house? Is it the pumpkin pie pumpkin house? Or is it the cake house? Let me know with the comments. That's what they're for. And like it if you did like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this, well, not quite like this, every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them all daily on your homepage. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And goodbye.